The Fishing News is brought to you by Shoreline Insurance Agency and Intellux Marine Paint. Hey folks, Fred Golafaro here for the Fisherman Video Forecast. Well, cod fishing was off to a good start before all this wind and cold turned against us. Um, again this week, uh, pretty much a blowout with just a couple of boats able to get out way back on Saturday and no one's been out since then. Uh, <clears throat> tomorrow looks like the first good opportunity if the weather forecast holds true. Uh, I know several boats are expecting to sail, so let's keep our fingers crossed. And as noted last week, the lack of recent effort could uh, be a benefit to those boats getting out the first couple of days uh, after that layoff, giving the fish, you know, the uh, cod grounds and the wrecks a chance uh, to restock with fish. <clears throat> uh, we did hear from Captain Rob, uh, the Montauk's hot start to the cod season prompted him to make a move to Montauk for the winter. Uh, he'll be moving the Captured Princess to Ulines Marina. Uh, he'll be sailing daily, weather permitting, and uh, you will need reservations if you want to get on board. And he expects to start fishing out of Montauk next week. If a good run does develop locally, he said he'd consider uh, putting the Captree Pride into service um, at a Captree with Captain Ken at the helm. <clears throat> now, if you're looking for something more cerebral, uh, Connecticut River State Park Preserve. Uh, that fishery opens up uh, for the season on Wednesday, February 3rd. Uh, fishing in the park is limited to fly rods and fly fishing only uh, with barbless hooks. Uh, beats on the river are, are available from Wednesday through Sundays at $20 per four hour session. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, this is all catch and release fishing in Connecticut. Uh, it, this was a world class trout fishery uh, just several years back. Uh, until it was unnecessarily shut down uh, by DEC for, for questionable reasons. Uh, thanks to increased stocking efforts by uh, Long Island State Parks, uh, the fishery has bounced back. It will probably never be uh, what it was, but it is, uh, it is much improved and the future looks bright for some uh, good fishing, especially once they get the hatchery up and running again. Um, if you want to get the full uh, rundown and an update on what's going on in the park, be sure to catch Angelo Peluso's article. Uh, he did a nice follow-up article in our March issue that's coming up, uh, so you can check things out. In the meantime, you know, it's a great place just to be in the park, uh, to walk the banks, uh, whether you catch fish or not. It's, uh, it's really a great experience, but the fishing has been, as I said, much improved, so the odds are you will catch some fish. <clears throat> uh, the wind and coals also hampered the efforts of uh, folks trying to fill a bucket with herring. Uh, again, this week, uh, very few reports on the herring front. Apparently, they are still around, uh, so we should get a better handle on what's going on with that fishery uh, this week. It's supposed to get mild again, <clears throat> and the wind is supposed to lay down for Friday. <clears throat> it's a quiet weekend on the show front. Uh, Next up is the Long Island Fishing Flea Market. That's at uh, the Columbus Club in Massapequa Park on Saturday, January 30th. Uh, if you want to keep track of all the winter shows and fishing flea markets, uh, just check the Fisherman Calendar events. They're all there, all lined up. Uh, February is a very busy month uh, for indoor sports. So uh, be sure to check that out. Until next week, I'm Fred Golafaro for thefisherman.com. The Fishing News is brought to you by Shoreline Insurance Agency and Intellux Marine Paint.